good morning students let's continue with our fourth chapter jackson's island the next day everyone knew about poor dr robinson the sheriff found muff potter's knife near the body of the doctor he put muff in st petersburg small jail tom and huck looked at each other we saw injunjo kill the doctor said tom muff didn't kill him poor muff so as you must remember in the third chapter uh, we learned that injunjo and muff potter uh, they wanted to um, uh shift a dead body of hus williams hus williams to dr robinson but something went wrong and injunjo killed dr robinson and also told muff potter to escape but he had put the muff potter's knife near the dead body of dr robinson the next day everyone knew about the dr robinson's death and the sheriff sheriff means the policeman the policeman found muff potter's knife near the body of the doctor and he uh, at once arrested muff and put him in the st petersburg small jail tom and huck looked at each other because they knew that he is muff potter is not the real killer or the criminal so they thought we saw injunjo kill the doctor said tom muff didn't kill him poor muff so they were very very they are pitying muff because he has been arrested for not uh, for not doing anything but he was named as the criminal i know said huck but we mustn't say anything remember injunjo is dangerous i'm sorry for muff potter too the two boys were afraid we must keep this secret said tom sadly tom could not forget at night he had bad dreams about injunjo and muff potter he kept a terrible secret but he was very very unhappy so huck told tom yes we know but we must not say anything because you know how dangerous that injunjo is so if you say that you injunjo is the criminal he may also kill you so please don't say anything and i am also feeling very sorry for muff potter but the boys were afraid to say anything we must keep this a secret said tom and both decided to keep it as a secret but tom could not forget it very easily at night he had very very bad dreams about injunjo and muff potter he felt very scared at nights because he was keeping that as a terrible secret and he was very unhappy he was not at all feeling safe he was not at all safe, feeling comfortable and happy but he could not say anything aunt polly was also worried about him she gave him a lot of different medicines but tom did not feel better he was unhappy at school too becky thatcher didn't talk to him anymore no one loves me thought tom what a horrible life so aunt polly saw the condition of tom and she was also worried about him and she tried a different kinds of medicines for him she changed a lot of medicines to make him happy and to make him sleep at the night but tom did not feel better because he was thinking about all those things about injunjo the murder he saw and muff potter he was unhappy at school too he was also not happy at school because becky thatcher didn't talk to him anymore even becky thatcher did not talk to him so tom tom thought no one loves me and i am having a very horrible life and this this life is not good for me why i am suffering like this he thought it was now summer and there was no more school Tom and his friend Joe Harper went to the Mississippi River. They fished, talked and looked at the boats. One day Tom said, "Let's go and do something exciting." "Okay," said Joe. "But where can we go and what we can do?" "Let's run away. We can go and live on Jackson's Island. We can be a pirate. A pirate's life is exciting," said Tom. So Tom was very unhappy at school like that. two or three months passed and it was now summer and there was holidays for the school so tom and his friend joe harper every day they used to go to the mississippi river they used to catch fish talked and look at the boats that were coming on the rivers and one day 
Tom said, let's do something exciting. So Tom did not even feel this happier because he felt very sad doing the same routine things every day. Coming, uh, sitting at the uh, river, fishing, talking and looking at the boats. So he told that he is bored and he asked his friend, can we do something exciting? Exciting means which gives them some thrill. Okay, said Joe. So Joe agreed, yes. But where can we go? And what can we do? So Joe asked, but where can we go? And what can we do? Let's run away. So Tom gave an unsplendid plan, which is very, very, he asked, uh, let's both run away from home. And we can go and live on Jackson's Island. There is a small island uh, called Jackson's Island near St. Petersburg. We can go and live over there. What is an island? An island is a piece of land which is covered by water on all the three sides. We have to go only by through boats or ship to reach that place. And he told that we can be a pirate. What is a pirate? A pirate is a sea robber or a sea thief. And he is telling that they will go and live on that island and become a pirate. They will become like a sea robber and rob the persons who come near the island. And he says that a pirate's life is very exciting. Jackson's Island was a small island in the Mississippi River. It was about three miles south of St. Petersburg. No one lived on the island. Huckleberry Finn can also come with us too, said Tom. Remember, Joe, don't tell your mother, father or anyone about our adventure. Go home and bring some food. We'll all meet here at midnight. Tom and Doe were excited. At midnight, the three boys met on the river. So they planned to go for Jackson's Island. And it was a small island and the Mississippi River. So it was in the middle of the Mississippi River. It was about three miles from the town. And no one lived on the island. So suddenly Tom got an idea that my friend Huck can also come with us. And he told that uh, Joe Harper, the Huckleberry Finn also will come with me. And he tells, remember Joe, don't tell your mother, father or anyone about our adventure. So please don't tell your mother, father or anyone about our adventure. Adventure is a thrilling trip which you will never forget. An exciting journey. But you go home and bring some food. But we don't know what we are getting on the Thailand. So you go home and get some food. We'll all meet here at midnight. And Tom and Joe were excited. As they were uh, teenage boys, they were excited about their adventure. Because they are doing this without the, any support of the elders. So they were very happy that they are going and doing something on their own. At midnight, all the three boys met on the river. Tom brought meat to eat. Joe brought some bed. And Huck bought a frying pan. They found a small raft and they went down the river on Jackson's Island. When they arrived on the island, they made a fire and cooked some meat. So Tom brought some meat to eat from his home. And Joe brought some bread. And Huck bought a frying pan. Uh, they found a small raft. A raft means a small uh, structure which is made out of wooden poles or wood which is helpful to float on the water and the telugu lo meeru teppa anachu aa teppa kuda laaga undadu di anni wooden poles anni kattesi oka chinna structure chesintaru that is called as a raft they found a small raft and they went on that raft and towards the jackson island when they arrived on the island, they made a fire and cooked some meat. So they came to the island and later on they made a fire. Uh, how did they make the fire? They made the fire uh, how the um, old uh, ancient people did by rubbing stones. They created or they made a fire and they also cooked some meat over that and they ate. This is fun, said Joe. We are free and we can do everything we want. What do pirates do, said Huck. They go on ships and take money. They go to an island and hide it in a safe place, said Tom. The three boys were very happy and slept under the stars. 
So this is fun, said Joe. So Joe was very excited and said, this is fun. We are free and we can do everything we want. They wanted to escape from the discipline which is given by their parents. And the parents would say not to go here, not to do these things, not to do any mischievous things. But here, nobody was there. So they were very happy. And they are telling we are free and we can do everything we want. So... Huck suddenly asked, what do pirates do? See, Huck also, Tom has told Huck also that they are going to become pirates. But Huck did not know who is a pirate, but he had a great faith in his friend Tom. So he came and now he is asking Tom, what do pirates do? They go on ships and take money. So they are called sea robbers. They go on ships and take money from other ships. Then they go to an island and hide it in a safe place. Then they will go to the island and hide it in a safe place, said Tom. The three boys were very happy and slept under the stars. They were very happy and they slept in the, on the riverside under the stars. They did not have any home or anything else. So they were very, very happy. They slept under the blue sky, enjoying the stars and counting the the next morning they went swimming in the river, then they went fishing. They cooked the fish and fire and ate it. It was delicious. After breakfast, they walked around the island and went swimming again. In the afternoon, they sat around the fire and ate some more meat. So they slept under the blue sky by counting the stars and they enjoyed. There were nobody to disturb their sleep. And the next morning, they wake up at what time they wanted. So they woke up very late in the morning. And they, later on, they went swimming in the river. And then they went fishing. They caught some fish. And they cooked the fish on the fire and ate it. And it was very delicious. The fish was very, very nice to taste. Because anything which you prepare on your own, then it will be very, very uh, nice to eat. So they found the breakfast very delicious. After the breakfast, they walked around the island and went swimming again. So after the breakfast, they took a stroll around the island to see what is there on the island. And later on, after uh, walking for a lot of time, they felt very tired and they went swimming again. In the afternoon, they sat around the fire and ate some more meat. So in the afternoon, they cooked the meat which was brought by Tom and they uh, cooked on the fire and they ate it. Suddenly, Tom said, can you hear a strange noise? Listen, what is it? asked Joe. Suddenly, Tom said, can you hear a strange noise? Please listen very carefully. What is it? said Joe. Let's go and see, said Huck. They ran to the river and they saw a steamboat and a lot of small boats near it. They went to the river and hiding behind the rocks or hiding in the bushes, they saw that they ha uh, a steamboat had come. A uh, steamboat means a boat which runs with the help of the um, motor. That is called steamboat and a lots of small boats near it. So other boats which are being rowed by the uh, people. But this steamboat runs on the, with the power of a motor. So they saw a steamboat and lots of boat near it. They did not know what is going on. Every boat from St. Petersburg is out on the river, said Joe. What's happening? They are looking for a dead body, said Huck. The same thing happened last summer when Bill Turner fell into the river and drowned. Who are they looking for this time? asked Joe. Tom thought for a moment and said, I know, it's us. They think we are drowned. The three boys felt like heroes and laughed. So they came when they saw, they saw that uh, all the people have come in many boats. Every boat which is in the town, they are on the river, said Joe. What's happening? They are looking for a dead body, said Huck. So Tom asked, what's happening? So Huck told, they are looking for a dead body. Because the same thing happened last summer when Bill Turner fell into the river and drowned. So they, uh, Huck is giving a logical answer because 
the same thing had happened last summer when a boy called bill turner fell into the river and he was drowned so they came in many large number of boats to uh, search for his dead body so who are they looking for this time asked joe so joe was very innocent and he asked now uh, who has drowned why they are looking for this now for whom they are looking this time tom thought for a moment and said i know it's us so whom they are searching they are searching for these three boys huckleberry finn tom and joe they think we are drowned so all the people because two days have passed and they are not found in uh, st petersburg so all the people have thought these three boys must have drowned in the river the three boys felt like heroes and laughed so the three boys felt very happy because they have fooled these people and they have become real heroes and they laughed thinking about the situation in the st petersburg the people of st petersburg are looking for us they are talking about us we are famous said tom happily this was an exciting adventure for tom huck and joe they felt like real pirates on jackson's island the boats and the steamboat went away so people of st petersburg are looking for these three people and they are all talking about us so they felt very very happy because they have become famous until now nobody talked about them but now everybody is talking about these three people so they are very very happy and this was a very exciting adventure for tom huck and joe so all the three felt very exciting because they have not only fooled the people they are enjoying their life however they want on the island with nobody to control them they felt like clear he pirates on the jackson's island so they thought that uh, how the pirates will feel happy after robbing a ship so so much happiness and so much excitement they found on the island while fooling the people the boats and the steamboat went away so all the people they returned back because they could not find any dead body over there they searched for the long time in the river and they did not find anything so they returned back The boys went fishing again and had fish for dinner then they slept under the stars but Tom could not sleep the next morning he wasn't there where's tom asked joe i don't know said huck after a few minutes huck said looks like tom went swimming in the river he is coming to the island tom told them his story last night i could not sleep i thought about aunt polly so i went home but no one saw me i saw aunt polly and your mother joe Poor Aunt Polly was crying a lot, and your mother was sad too. Everyone thinks we are dead. I heard some interesting things. What did you hear? Asked Huck. So the boys went once again fishing, and they had finished their meat and bread. So they had caught some fish for dinner. Then they slept under the stars. Then they slept under the blue sky, and Tom could not sleep. But Huck and Joe fell asleep very quickly. So the next morning Tom was not there. Where's Tom? asked Joe. So when the next in the next morning when Joe and Huck woke up they did not see Tom. So where's Tom? asked Joe. But Huck told I don't know. But after a few minutes Huck said see there I think Tom went swimming in the river and now he is coming back to the island. So they they asked the same thing to Tom but Tom told no. Last night I could not sleep. so i thought about aunt polly so tom told no last night i did not sleep because i was sad about aunt polly so i went home but no one saw me and i saw aunt polly and your mother jo and i also saw your mother jo both were crying a lot and your mother was also very sad and everyone thinks we are dead and i also heard some interesting things what did you hear asked huck Well, there will be a funeral for us on Sunday at the church," said Tom. Huck and Joe looked at him with big eyes. And now I have a great idea. Listen, and Tom told Huck and Joe his great idea. They liked it and laughed. So, Tom told the interesting news that all the people of Saint Petersburg were getting ready for the funeral ceremony of these three boys. What is funeral ceremony? It is a memorial service of the dead. 
So when a person is dead, they will uh, bury him in the grave and uh, give him some uh, two minutes of silence for him and all the people will talk about that person very greatly near the grave. That is called the funeral service. So Sunday there will be a funeral service for all the three of the boys and they think that uh, they have dead. And Tom and Huck, they were very surprised uh, when uh, uh, Tom told the plan for, for what they are doing. So they, they have discussed some plan and they are going to do the same plan on Sunday. So they are returning uh, to St. Petersburg on Sunday and all the three, they thought this idea was very good and they liked the idea and laughed very much. Sunday was the day of the funeral and there were no happy faces in St. Peterburg. Everyone in the village was in the small church. Aunt Polly, Sid, Mary and Joe Harper's family were all dressed in black. The reverend said many kind words about these three boys. The boys' families cried and cried and Becky Thatcher cried. Everyone cried a lot. So the funeral was going to take place on Sunday and there were no happy faces in St. Petersburg. Everybody in St. Petersburg was very, very dull because everybody was fond of these three boys and all of them have assembled in the small church in the village. Aunt Polly, Sid, Mary and Joe Harper's family were all dressed in black. We wear black dress only to show our mourning. Mourning ante? Uh, it is the customary or custom practice of the Christians to wear black dress. When somebody sees you in black dress, they will see that you are mourning for somebody's death. So they were all dressed in black and the reverend, the father, he said many kind words about these three boys. He praised these three boys and the boys' families cried and cried. Even Becky Thatcher cried. The uh, girl who did not talk with uh, Tom for so many days, she also cried. Everyone cried a lot. Then suddenly these three boys appeared and there was a great silence for a moment. Then Aunt Polly, Mary and Joe's mother ran to the boys. They kissed Tom and Joe. Aunt Polly cried and then laughed and poor Huck did not know what to do. No one kissed him. He started to move away but Tom stopped him. Suddenly according to the plan of Tom, all the three appeared into the church. All the three walked into the church and there was a great silence for a moment. Everybody was shocked to see these three persons alive. Then Aunt Polly, Mary and Joe's mother ran to these three people and they kissed uh, Aunt Polly and Mary. They hugged and kissed Tom and Joe's mother ran to Joe and kissed him also. And Aunt Polly cried and then laughed. At, she felt she did not expect Tom to be alive. So she cried first and then she laughed thanking God and poor Huck. His father did not come and his father was probably not worried about his son's death. So he did not come and poor Huck did not know what to do because he saw uh, Joe had a family, Tom had a family, but he did not uh, had anybody. So no one kissed him. There was nobody who felt very happy about the return of Huck. So he started to move away, but Tom stopped him. So he started feeling very sad that there is no difference even if I am alive, if I am dead. And he started moving, going away from the church, but Tom stopped him. Aunt Polly, it's not right. Someone must be happy to see Huck, said Tom. Oh, you're right, Tom, said Aunt Polly, and she kissed Huck. Tom was very proud of his great idea. Then the reverend said, let's sing and be happy. Everyone sang and laughed and it was a very happy day. So Tom told Aunt Polly, it's not right. See, Huck is feeling very bad. Someone must make Huck very happy because even Huck is alive. And so uh, at least you should be happy to see him. Happy. Oh, you are right, Tom, said Aunt Polly. And she kissed Huck and she hugged him. 
and Huck also felt very happy and Tom was very proud because of his great idea. He thought this is a great idea to make Huck happy and so he felt very proud that I have given this idea. And then everybody settled and everybody was happy. Then the father told, let's sing about God and be happy today. So they sang many songs, many songs of, uh, from the Bible and everybody song, sang Everybody sang songs and they laughed and they made merry on that day. And it was a very happy day. Everything ended in a happy note.